Hello fellow rogues and alchemists, this is Fate Alchemist here, and welcome to another episode of Thomcraft, The Forbidden Arts. In the previous episode, we set our base for defense. We created tons of golems, we have Ubu here behind me, and several turrets armed with harming arrows spread all throughout the base. Which means we're now open and ready to go exploring, to find those rifts in the world, those cracks in reality that will give us entry into the emptiness, where we can suss out Ananas. Defeat him and get him out of my head. So, let's not dilly-dally. We have this device, the Fracture Locator, which is supposed to lighten up when we're facing the right direction and get even brighter when we're getting close. I do want to be sure I have a way home. And we have uh, this Aya Fugil, but it might already be linked somewhere. I'm not really sure where it goes at the moment. So it makes that a little bit dangerous to use. And if I did save a location. I probably had a reason for it, so I don't want to lose that location as we don't have any maps right now that we can trust in this wild world. So instead we're going to make some world seeds so we have a way to get back. We use our corporea engine here. I would like to have three diamonds. Thank you. How does 671? We are rich. Three Grass block. Oogly moogly, do I not have any? I don't. Soap touch. Soap touch. Cannot believe. How is this so hard? <laughs> I have to use Evil Craft just to make grass. <laughs> Fine. We have it for a reason. To the laboratory. Splendid. Oh, these are all nice and repaired. We'll put those back. And now we need our grass. <clears throat> oh, I love this thing. World seeds. These will allow us to return back to spawn from anywhere. Let's go to the Unknown Shrine, because that was pretty far away. And we'll start exploring from there. Ah, this shrine. Okay, now. Choose a direction. Now this... I believe leads us. Yes, down there was the end portal. So if we continue this way, we'll be heading into new territory. We'll go out pretty far. Then we'll do a quick rotation. And hopefully we can get lucky and find ourselves a rift.
No time for this. Goggles are revealing. I'm wearing the wrong... This is bad. I'm not wearing the correct protections. It's not good. We will head east. Always east. But we need to change out our helmet. We should have li- okay. This hurts. There. But we can use just one of these world seats to get back. Okay. Let's switch out to the proper headgear. We have one more dosage of our flask, but hopefully we won't we won't need it. Certificates. Oh. You're new. We'll just call it Wolvian for now. We'll remember what that means. This is Agent Johnson. Personal log. I am making this entry within the confines of this extra-dimensional space, as it is the only area I know is 100% secure. I have not yet decided whether or not to include this report to the Unity Foundation, but in case I should fail, I did want to record my findings. I believe that I'm the only person that is aware of the threat. Fade is dealing with magic that is so dangerous that it shouldn't be owned by anybody, He's been possessed by an entity known as Ananus, a creature of the Void that wants nothing more than to return all of existence to the vast blackness of nothing. And I don't think he's aware that he's being manipulated. I have enhanced myself as far as I can with cybernetics and with genetic engineering. The next step is to do a beta test of these upgrades. I plan on going to Fade's base, possibly confronting Fade himself. If not, I can do some reconnaissance there and see if I can learn anything useful. In case I should fail, hopefully these documentations will be retrieved by somebody else who can fight this growing threat. Agent Johnson out. Back to the lab. Siegfried. I'm going back to Fade's laboratory. For today's mission, we will not be wearing the cyber suit. Instead, I'll be implementing the threat matrix. This allows me to dodge 60% of the attacks from hitting me at all, but only works if I'm not wearing any armor or light armor. Side suit's too heavy. Instead, we are relying on our durability which are enhanced bones, and also our metabolism, which is being handled by our calculator technology. As long as we don't get taken out in one shot, we should be able to regenerate anything that we get hit by. We also have the solar skin to help with our energy requirements, as well as some razor blade skin as well. When we get hit, we erupt in a storm of blades to damage our enemies. We also have some reflexes and artificial muscles 
to make us quicker and stronger. And we got plenty of power and element inside here as well. So we should be able to sustain this definitely as long as we can get in the sun every once in a while. So I think this is good. It looks like Fate Alchemist has a few more defenses than last time, but they should be no match for me. But that's why we came here to test. I don't see him in there. X-ray vision. Let's see what we can loot and what we can learn. Oh, well, we got some new defenses here. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay. He's learned from last time, he's learned. Oh, the little guy, what are you? Ow! Okay, well, let's get out of here. That's no good. At least he doesn't have many more of those. Oh, there's a lot. There's a lot here. There's a lot here. Okay. All right, he's learned. He's also not here. So it tells me... Okay, let's, let's get out of here. Oh, I got it set up to the wrong thing. Well... Looks like he's got his secondary research base here. What's all this? Great magic. What the heck is this? Hey, oh! Oh, there's a place! Got stuck in it! Fade alchemist! It's got me held in some sort of stasis. What is this? I feel strange. What is happening? So help me. Contaminated me if you're magic. I can't move. I to get out of here. All right. Oh, that that's get out of this place. Sigfrid, I'm coming home. Didn't have the setup correctly. Ah! 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 I'm back. Something has happened, though. I got sucked into one of Fade's devices. Ah. What is this? Perks. Interesting. I seem to have inadvertently attuned myself to some cosmic powers. That was an accident, but... Maybe I can take advantage of this. That's going to give me more health? I think this might have just given us what we need. Fade is pretty much indestructible in his cloak. I remember that from last time. But due to our accidental exposure, I might have an ability to remove that layer of protection. Well... You might as well take advantage. <laughs>
right. Let's see. <gasps> it worked. Okay. Okay. I, I have to study this before I go any further. I can't see. Yes! <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, 20. 23,000 blocks? 23,000 blocks. Made it? Okay. Did it. I did it. I know where you're at. I know where you live. And you're going to get out of my head. And I'm going to win. And all this magic will be mine. Alright, fellow rogues and alchemists, we're going to call that episode for today. If you enjoyed what you saw, please click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out Sassy Rogue on her side of the channel. And I will see you in the next episode of Thomcraft, The Forbidden Arts. See you later, everybody. Bye-bye. Subscribe.